Hello, welcome. In this short video, we are going to look at the definition of direct Z transform. So, definition of direct Z transform. So the Z transform of a signal X of n of a signal X of n X of n is a signal. So the Z transform of this signal X of n is given by X of Z is equal to the summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity X of n Z power minus n. So this is the definition of the direct Z transform. Note that the variable z or the value z is a complex variable z is a complex variable so basically this z transform x of z transforms the time domain signal x of n into complex plane representation that is the signal x of n which is in time domain that is it is transformed is transformed from time domain that is n dom that is value n is a discrete time so it is transformed from time domain to complex plane representation that is variable z so the transformation x of z basically sends the signal or transforms the signal from time domain to z domain or complex plane representation A common symbol for the Z transform is given by X of Z is identical or is equal to Z of the data X Z of the data or Z of the signal X of N. So X of Z is the Z transform of X of N. So that is a common symbol or common representation. Now the Z transform that is the relation between X of N and X of Z, X of N and x of z is given by or is denoted by is given or denoted by x of n and a double headed arrow that is that is arrow with uh, arrow heads on both sides and with a value z or a variable z on the top x of z that is this notation basically tells us that x of n and x of z are the z transform pair that is x of z is the z transform of x of n and x of n is the inverse z transform of the x of z so that is the meaning of this notation so from the definition of x of z from the definition of x of z we can clearly see that it is actually a power series that is it is summation from minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z power minus n. so it's like a weighted power series that is z power minus n represents power terms now let me so x of z is a power series so basically x of z exists only at those values of z for which x of z converges that is x of z exists for only those values of z for which x of z converges so basically convergence means the x of z is a that is for which for those values for which x of z converges so we define uh, what is called as roc that is region of convergence for this x of z we define roc that is region of convergence that is the region in which x of z converges that is has a finite value that is region of convergence is basically a set of all values of z for which x of z has for which x of z has a finite value so set of all values of x of z 
so roc is basically the set of all values of z for which x of z converges so basically that means in the roc x of z has a finite value outside the roc it has that means it has infinite value or it diverges so you only consider uh, the values to be uh, valid for roc within the roc so now let us look at some examples illustrating this idea first consider a signal x1 of n which is given to be uh, the sequence 1 2 5 7 0 1 and n is equal to 0 is given here that is n equal to 0 the value is 1 so then the z transform x of z is given by the sum n is equal to 0 that is starting at this point to 1 2 3 4 5 so n equal to 0 to 5 x of n z power minus n so upon simple calculation upon simple upon simple substitution and expansion of this sum we have 1 plus 2 times z inverse plus 5 times z power minus 2 plus 7 times z power minus 3 plus 0 and plus 1 into z power minus 5 so that is the z transform of this sequence so clearly this function of z basically converges for all values of z except for z equal to 0 clearly at z equal to 0 we have infinity so for all other values of z this function will have a finite value so the roc for this x of z for x1 of n is clearly the whole z plane except the origin therefore the roc for the z transform that is x of z of the given signal x1 of n is the whole z plane except the origin that is z equal to 0 similarly consider another signal x2 of n which is given by the same sequence but but n equal to 0 is located at 5 that means this is n equal to minus 2 and this is equal to and this is n minus 1 so our n is equal to minus 1 so x of z is given by z squared plus 2 times z plus 5 plus 7z inverse plus z power minus 3 so this is the z transform of this sequence where n equal to 0 is shifted now this function that is this function of x of z actually diverges at both z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity so the roc of this z transform x of z that is x of z of x of of x to n x to of n is whole is the whole z plane except z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity excluding these two points that is z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity for all other values of z in the z plane x of z converges and next for x 2 of for x 3 of n given by the unit sample function that is delta of n x of z is clearly given to be value 1 that is x of z is equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity delta of n z power minus n and this value is only 1 at n equal to 0 and 0 everywhere else so this is indeed equal to 1 into z power minus 0 which is 1 so x of z is 1 for the delta function or for the unit sample function so so for this x of z the roc is basically the whole z plane the roc is the whole z plane without any exceptions that means both z of z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity are also included in the roc and finally for a shifted unit sample that is delta of n minus k x of z will be definitely equal to summation delta n minus k z power minus n n is equal to minus infinity to 2 plus infinity so n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity this summation is clearly equal to uh, this is clearly equal to z power minus k because only at n is equal to k this has a non zero value so this one is clearly equal to z power minus k 
so this function only con uh, this function converges for all values of z except z equal to zero so roc is again the whole z plane except z equal to zero roc is whole z plane except or excluding the origin that is z equal to zero so so to summarize we have looked at the definition of the z transform commonly known as the direct z transform because it transforms a time sequence x of n from the time domain to a complex plane representation and note that x of z is basically a power series and its value depends on the value of z for example x of z uh, we call uh, on the region in which this x of z converges is called region of convergence so for example for x1 of n a signal 125701 where n is equal to 0 is the value 1 in that case x of z is given by the sequence 1 2 power 2 times z power minus 1 plus 5 times z power minus 2 and so on this sequence converges for all values of z except the origin that is z equal to 0 and similarly if there are past two powers of z z equal to infinity is also excluded from the roc and for a delta function the whole z plane is the roc including both the origin and the infinity and finally for a shifted delta function uh, the whole z plane except the origin is the ROC. Thanks for watching.